Let's start with the reading Pisces. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. Keep in mind that energies go both ways. Feel free to interpret them as the best resonate with you. Also, I am selecting people for free personal readings. Keep watching to know how to get selected. All right, let's see what we have for you here today, Pisces. I'm going to start with uh, looking into your past, current energies and immediate future. Well, this is definitely going to be a powerful reading, starting with the tower right here at the bottom of the deck. We see how you have something coming up which you are not expecting. Whenever you have this energy, you know that you have a perception of reality that might not be what it's really going on, given what someone is doing around you given what someone is saying to you, you might be thinking that maybe there is something here that is not going to happen. But soon, with that energy, you know that it's going to show up in front of you. It's going to happen. And it's going to happen quick. So, in the past, we have Ace of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Lovers. This is clearly a new beginning with someone who perhaps you thought you were going to be with for a very long time, maybe for the rest of your life. This is something that really looked stable, abundant, beautiful. Someone who made you feel safe. Someone who made you feel as though you have found exactly what you were looking for. And you know, when you experience these sort of connections in your, in your life, this is something that really sticks with you. Even with uh, relationships that have not worked out, but where you felt this way at the beginning, that's something that you carry with you for the rest of your life. And right here, I see two people that felt that way. I see... Two people who now, if this is not going to work out, uh, are going to keep that memory with them and will always compare the new, the new partners, the new potential connections to this one from the past. This is a very strong one. And I see with the moon that perhaps at some point things didn't really work out in the way you wanted them to work out. With the moon now, we have fears and doubts coming up. There is something right there which you, again, did not see coming and which is maybe the reason why things didn't work out. With the moon, a lot of insecurities, you know. You can barely see what's really happening around you. And so you start creating your own reality in your head. And often when we do that, we tend to see things that are not really there. This is someone's words, someone's actions that got misinterpreted. And overall, this was perhaps the beginning of the end. Now, I don't see anyone here falling out of love or losing interest. There was here just something that happened maybe a secret or maybe a mis misinterpreted action or message and overall this created friction and it's definitely something that did not make you happy and you know what you might not know maybe some of you are there it did not make them happy either now in the current energies i feel like you are thinking right now that a change is coming up. You might be feel the anticipation of something suddenly changing in your environment regarding the situation. And we see that you actually might be right, Pisces. You have the Wheel of Fortune and that tower right there overlooking the reading. We know that something is coming your way. Now, what is this creating uh, in this situation? 
is creating a type of energy that keeps you stuck, keeps you stuck in some sort of limbo because you think that something is coming up, then you are sacrificing things. You're not maybe putting yourself out there. You're thinking, should I wait? Should I just be here and um, see how this situation is going to evolve? Or, or should I completely close that door, focus on me and go out there and see maybe uh, who else I can connect with? Or maybe just be by myself and completely uh, close the door on love for the time being. So right here, that's definitely a conflicting energy that you have at the moment. And we see how regardless of what you do, an actual big change is coming your way. But it's been delayed. It's been delayed by the same reasons, by the same type of energy that the moon carries with it. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, clearly someone who is having a lot of negative thoughts who's thinking, well, in the past, that happened. It's going to happen again if I enter this situation once more. And so right here, this person, whether it's you or the other person, is definitely spending a lot of time in their head. And they're thinking, overthinking, analyzing, overanalyzing, and overall delaying the evolution of the situation. But these are two minor, minor arcana fighting against a major arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. They have no chances to win at all. So this is just a delay, not a blockage at all. We see, in fact, in the immediate future, something coming your way which will answer your question. Should I wait or should I go? What we see, in fact, here is that you are going to get confirmation that this person is still connected to you, Pisces. You might be in disbelief about this information because maybe this person has moved on as someone new or too much time has passed. Something there which is making you think, oh, no, this is not for me. This is not talking about me. But I see with the tower that that's exactly the type of energy and um, thinking that you're going to have before the reveal of the truth. You're sure about this being over. But at the same time, your heart, your intuition is still keeping you there and for a good reason. Because this person is also on the same type of frequency as you. They are also waiting for something waiting to reconnect with you, waiting to see if there is more to happen between the two of you. With the hangman, you know that they don't even care about connecting with new people. And if they have, now, as we were saying earlier, they are comparing them to you. And it doesn't feel good. They don't have the same type of beautiful connection that they had with you, that attraction. That love that they felt with you was truly pure. Regardless of what happened there with the moon, the love and passion was there. People, when someone makes a mistake or betrays, it doesn't mean that they don't love. At times, in fact, from what I see, at least in readings, it's exactly the reason why they act poorly. Because of the love and the passion that they didn't know how to handle. And at times... Especially in this case, people have a tendency to sabotage themselves. And this is exactly what I see here. Someone who for the first time experienced what happiness and true love really is. And they got scared. They got in their head. They might have done something wrong or just misinterpreted something and walked away. Acted as though they have lost interest. But as we see here, no one has lost interest. So right here, you see someone who's just waiting there for something to happen, waiting there maybe to get a message from you, to get a sign from you. And we see here with the Ten of Cups that their goal, their intention is clearly 
to have a happily ever after with you, to connect with you long term and to just really be there for you to support a potential family together. This is really, really beautiful. And it's going to require some work to get from this to this. But we see it happening here with judgment. Someone who's starting to reflect on past action, who's starting to reflect on this moon energy. Did I see something that maybe wasn't there? Did I do the wrong thing? Did I, did I say the wrong thing? And so this judgment is clearly going to transform into some sort of message, into some sort of reconnection. They are doing the first step towards you. Pages, they bring messages, but this is a shy message. <laughs> this is a shy energy, something that happens in the darkness and you might not know about. But soon, this Page of Swords, who right now is acting behind the scenes, is going to be revealed by this tower energy. And so expect this person to reveal their true feelings soon and tell you something that perhaps is going to put you back on a trajectory towards this Ten of Cups. And so let's see what that is going to be. Let's see what you are going to see with the tower energy, what you're going to discover that you don't know now, what this person is going to say and how this relationship is going to evolve in the near and distant future. Let's see if things are going to work out in between the two of you or if you still need to work on certain things before getting there. I want to see what this person is about to say, about to do and how you're going to feel about it. Let's keep looking into the situation and if you want to dive deeper into the messages, just follow me the extended video link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week, I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out the spam folder as well. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading Pisces. This reading, this overall, these overall messages are really making me wonder what is going to happen next. We see right here that someone is going to be revealed for who they really are. Their true feelings and intentions are about to come up. You're going to see here that they were trying to block the, the love and passion that they still have for you. But right here, it's going to be in front of you and they won't be able to hide it any longer. We see how you might have thought that this was really over, but you have another thing coming, Pisces, and you're going to realize that there is still a lot that has to happen between the two of you. And so let's immediately look into this Page of Swords and Four of Cups, and let's see what's actually going to be revealed to you in the immediate future about this person. Let's start from that. There it goes. Now you definitely have a lot of messages, very fast movement, and this is going to change everything. First of all, what we've seen.